Hey, welcome back to Smoke Rare Barbecue's YouTube channel. Today we are doing some burgers, not in the flake, kiddo. We're doing some burgers on the, uh, we're gonna do the, actually, th we're, today we're gonna be using the, uh, the Rubber Smoky Joe Gold. Figured for, Memor for Memorial's Day, nothing like um, some burgers out there on the uh, on a nice Weber grill, whether how big it is or not. Of course, we do have the big green egg still. I just wanted to use the, uh, the Weber today. I had a request to go and use that one, so I thought we'd go and do that. So, um, first things first, we're gonna make the patties. Make, you wanna make some burger patties with me? Yep. Okay. And additionally, too, today, we're gonna be featuring some uh, more not ketchup sauce. Today, we're doing the blueberry and white pepper. Thought that'd go really well with the burger. Um, <clears throat> got, some, got some other ingredients we're gonna be putting on it as well. Very excited about that. So, we'll go ahead and make some, make some patties now. All right. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and grab some of that. Oh, cover your mouth. Good job. All right. So make some patties. Yep. So we're gonna grab a little bit of this. Daddy. Yeah. And that is kind of sticky for me. Well, I know, kiddo, but you you guys gotta you just gotta power through it. So I'm gonna, um, this is some um, about 90-10. Personally for hamburgers, I usually try to go for 80-20. Um, this is more of the, uh, like a, or, this is a, a organic, I think it was like Simple, simple Truth organic uh, beef. So a little bit, a little bit uh, on the leaner side, but you know, sacrifices are made. So anyway. And two, for hamburger patties, what I usually try to do is I'll make them um, beforehand, get the, get the, put, put them in the fridge, cover them up, put them in the fridge so they can cool down and solidify in the shape that they're in, and then go out there, get the fire going, and then put them on the grill. You know, try at least do about 20 minutes in the fridge, if not, if not longer, to get the good, uh, um, <clears throat> so, so they're cold going on the grill, not warm. I mean, there's so many different, uh, Theories about meat going on the grill. Think about like when you're smoking or something like that. You're doing brisket. I heard you can. Um, it's better to, to to leave it out. Get up to room temperature. I've heard it's better not to do that. I mean. Oh, that, that is ready. Oh yeah, we're making also making some bacon for the uh, for the burgers today. I actually put them in, put them in the oven today. I just love uh, oven cooked bacon. Well, smoked bacon is also good too. But uh, bacon in the oven. I put some black pepper and some coconut sugar on it. So it tastes really, really good. Anyway, so if you get like six, a, a salt and pepper. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll put that too on it, okay? I will. Yeah, you will. So, um, like I was saying, if you get five barbecue cooks in the room, you'll have six different ideas on how on how to cook something. That's uh, definitely been what I've seen in in my in my uh, um, time. So, I mean, while well, I'm making these patties here, kind of just talk about it, but. Um, Find out what works for you and kind of just go from there. Tweak it, tweak it as necessary. If it doesn't, if you don't like it, think you might you might be able to try something better. I mean, no one's telling you have to do it have to do it a specific way. So definitely feel free to, to change it up with whatever you're doing. Like if you don't like this idea, might maybe try to do a different sauce, try to do a different uh, uh, base meat, maybe uh, icing burgers. I hear those are pretty good. Well, yeah, I've done them before and they are pretty good. So feel, feel free to, to do those as well. Don't just go off of what I'm saying here. Definitely uh, experiment, and uh, um, if you have uh, find something that works for you, let me know so I can uh, I can mention it on the video, and then you know, learning will be had by all. So that's that's the uh, that, that's what's the mo most important thing. All right, so I'm going a little bit maybe a little bit thicker patties than what I have done in the past. Um, I'm trying to really get the, the beef flavor with uh, coupled with that that blueberry white pepper sauce today. Want it nice and delicious. So I'll get the rest made here and come back to you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and got the burgers all wrapped up in the fridge. I'm sitting there, we're gonna try the, uh, the blueberry white pepper sauce. Smells pretty good. You wanna try this? Smells good? Uh, mm. Yeah. Mm, that's good. really good. It has a, um, a very mild blueberry uh, uh, taste to it. 
not not overpowering if you're if you're going to do it for burgers like we are tonight. Um, and of course, there is that the white pepper white white pepper flavor in there too. That's, that's also really really good. I uh, can't wait to actually use this out there on the, on the burgers tonight. So we're going to get to the rest of the video now. Just want to say um, yeah, thanks for Erica for for sending these sending us these uh, the sauces to use and to, and to and to try out. Um, we're going to get to the burgers now. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'll hurry up to you. Oh, thanks. All right, so here we have the Weber Smoky Joe Gold uh, with uh, lump charcoal today. And additionally, we're, we are doing, we have um, these uh, little charcoal starters from the Big Green Egg that we're using. Got two in there. Want to get this fire going quick. Uh, a little behind schedule. I, you can just use the one. But Back up, Susan! It's okay, kiddo. Um, you can just use the one, but I uh, want to get this fire going quicker rather than not. So there we go. It's a little windy out, so I might put it on the lid once these things get going. You can get back to you. Right, we're doing pretty good here, so we're gonna get the burgers on now. Might have to do two different batches of these since I this is not the uh, biggest grill out here. So as usual, I'll put on some salt and pepper. Before they go on, so here's the first one. Actually, I think we'll be able to do them all. Do them all. A little salt and pepper on that side. Okay, I'll get them on here and come back to you. Wipe them all on now. We're gonna let them cook for a little bit, and then flip them, and then put some sauce on. Time for a rotate. There you go, see you in a few. Flipping time. Now this is the, uh, why I always put the burgers in the uh, fridge beforehand. There's this flip right here. If you don't do it right, they're gonna be uh, breaking apart. A uh, long time ago, on my, at an old Weber uh, grill, I didn't really uh, cook burgers all that well, and they always fell apart and would fall into the cracks. But that hasn't happened in a long time. So I'm gonna cook these here just a little longer, rotate them, and then put some sauce on. All right, flipping. We just flipped it, now I'm gonna rotate. And now, we have some goat cheese we're putting on these guys. Not exactly a very forgiving uh, cheese when it comes to cutting it up. Okay, so there's that. Now, dabble on the uh, blueberry white pepper. Let that cook down a little bit, let the cheese melt, and come back to you. And we're done. That's gonna make a burger. All right, so we have the bottom here. I'm just gonna throw on some more of that blueberry sauce. All right, so we have one of the patties. All right, so then that's the patty. I'm also gonna put on some, I just got these done over the last week. I went ahead and pickled some jalapenos and put them in some vinegar. Uh, pretty simple, pretty simple to do actually. There's that right there. And next, we have some bacon that you guys saw uh, be cooked in the oven. 
there's that. I think that's about it. I have some tomatoes and red onions that I'm not going to put on this one, but we uh, cut them up at least. So there's the burger. Should be pretty good. All right, so uh, the family is all hungry, and so we're going to uh, get to eat here. We got this burger right there. Looks pretty good. So, you want to take a bite? And I'm not going to let the, the girl take a bite with the one with jalapenos in it. I don't want to uh, fry her uh, taste buds. Really good. Um, all the fingers are a little spicy. Of course they are. But definitely a good burger. I want to say thanks again. The, the blueberry red pepper sauce is really good. Um, accent to the, uh, to the, and with the goat cheese too, really complements well. And of course with the amazing beef flavor of that, of the burger as well. And that's a little pink in there. This one I wanted, to want to, to know, to not want to overcook it, to make it too dry and whatnot. So, I want to say thanks for watching and have a good day everybody. Okay.